Hello everyone, I'm Amir Hossein. Welcome to another training video. This video is about downloading GFS forecast data in a daily and automatic basis. Automatic data download is a key component of all operational systems, especially climate modeling workflows running on an HVC system. So in this video, I will show you how to retrieve or download GFS forecast data by a download manager in a daily basis. This download manager, which I'm going to discuss about, has been implemented in a project as a component of the WARF operational modeling system. This is actually the paper of that, of that project. I have provided a link to this paper in the video description so you can access this paper and you may like to read about it and get more information about the project. So let's uh, start. Um, first we clone the tool which we're going to use in this course I have provided a link to this github repository so you can easily clone it I first of all I copy the address to this repository I go to my terminal and I clone it the name of the repository is atmospheric science I navigate inside to the directory inside the directory there are several subdirectories navigate to the subdirectory gfs download manager so there is a single file in this subdirectory i open it gfs download manager there is a shell script actually i open it and uh, the first few paragraphs of this file is uh, the license of this code please pay attention to this license especially the um, the last paragraph which which is a request to reference this paper which I just showed you and just after the license there is a section for some input variables you're supposed to set these variables before running this code the first variable of this section is the start year the start year is um, the year of your the year which you're supposed to um, you like to run your wharf model or any other atmospheric model the start month is the start month of your run and also a start day and uh, the next variable is total run hours which is uh, the total run hours of your wharf model or other atmospheric model next one is gfs start hour it can be um, a value between these four values 0 6 12 or 18 you can choose one of these four values and the last one is GFS hour interval which is the temporal resolution for your files or forecast data you can choose either 3 or 6 for this thing, for this variable okay uh, today is 29th of july let me set the date 27th of july and uh, other variables are okay i just save it and run it gfs i just ran the code and this is a message looking for gfs data please wait for a second and uh, yes this is the first file data this is the first data file which was found if you pay attention to the date this is 27 of june of the year 2024 and the start of the gfs data is at the at our at hour 12 and uh, this is the first file the next file is three hours later and let's wait for the next file yes this is the next file which is found three hours later so it conforms to the interval that we set in our code let me open another terminal here and i'm going to show you 
are the size of these files. You can see that the size of the files are increasing. Actually, the download is parallel. So when it finds a file, it downloads it. It instantly downloads the file. And uh, the size of the file is gradually increasing. So it is supposed to go until number 36 because if you remember inside the code we specified our total run hour to 36 so this downloading is supposed to go until 36 And uh, the last point is that you can put this file in your cron job and you can run this code like every day if you have set if you have established any operational system for your work model or any other model you can easily uh, use this code for getting GFS data and uh, which will be used in the next steps to run the work model